Hello, Leo, and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week of October 9th, and this is a quick and general reading. Wow. Leo, I'm going to probably address every sign, something I've been kind of holding in most of this whole year. is, um, And that's why my, I think my videos are short, because I just see there's so much pain. Pain. Um, it's a year of so much healing, find, um, purging, and it's like I believe sometimes I have to sugarcoat it. It's just so much. So I just want to know. I wanted you to know. Um, I can't go into deep, but there's so much energy that I pick up from all of you, even weeklies, monthlies. I, it's just been very hard, and I'm seeing this again. For some of you suffering Okay, this is loss. This is disappointment. You know, there is that energy. It's a base energy. Um, for some of you, okay, I just want to address that. Um, so I try to look at what we can to keep pushing forward. Um, dealing with something like that, okay? So th this is um, definitely showing up. For some of you, this is worries. Maybe this is something official. I do see so like signing a legal contract document. You could be a lot in your head. Keep things more to yourself. So another thing that I've been seeing is always keep things more to yourself. We kind of are because we're kind of finding out who our friends and um, who, are, who are, who are not. Shocks, surprises. It's just been a year. New opportunities are definitely going to present themselves. Okay. So I do see that kind of energy. So this week is trying to stay as positive as possible. So I do see that kind of energy. So it's kind of a healing purging, but I do see that. Okay. I do see um, a lot of uh, work or burdens or responsibilities on your back, okay? And this is a heavy weight of you sometimes taking on other people's burdens, responsibilities, and sometimes we just feel guilty or we're doing that. I don't know. But it is a week of getting things done and um, eliminating people who take advantage of you. So that is one thing I'm seeing here. Simplify your, um, your burdens. Simplify your responsibilities. Delegate them. Um, try to simplify your path. So I do see that energy. I do see uh, mastering money, um, also a situation. Some of you are going to take more control of any kind of fears you have and worries. So I see that. I see financial stability for some of you. But then there is this up and down moody um, energy this week. Um, again, focusing on loss, regret, pessimism. So I do see that kind of energy. All right. Um, and this is a lot of daydreaming, delusional energy, too. Not everything is as bad as you think. Another thing I see this year, blessings in disguise, and they're hard to swallow at times. I'm seeing a change of direction with work career. OK, I see financial ind uh, independence. There is something like transforming with finances as well. This could be even thoughts of moving. I do see a Scorpio energy. I am seeing here also um, looking back, but moving forward, okay? Tying up some loose ends, so I do see that energy you're pushing forward. Communications are very strong this week, too. There can be some kind of meetings, um, trying to um, negotiate something. I do said, I see that, but don't dwell on any disappointments. So I do um, see that energy, too. I'm seeing compassion is very important this week. That is a special special message. Uh, pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because they could be prophetic or they could be leading you to some kind of breadcrumbs. So I do see you should be journaling them and then referencing them later. Um, I'm seeing also union. It's like a union of people coming together or balancing something else. So you benefit from others in a way as well. So I do feel that energy. Definitely seeing a Scorpio coming through somehow this week. Uh, the number five is coming up significant for you and even the number 11. All right, Leo, I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.